When I'm in there, I, I don't know, man. It was just, uh, you know, critiquing the fight. I, I felt like I was doing good, mixing some things up. Um, I was loading up on my punches. He used his reach better than he's done before in earlier fights. He was more patient, not flying in. He had a nice wide stance, too. Yeah, we want him to come in. And the wide stance is when you stall, I started to throw inside leg kicks, mm -hmm. which I should have thrown a little more, and I threw a, a head kick. Um, and then some of the critique I've been getting is, how on the ground could you let him get to mount and do this stuff? When he hit me with the uppercut, I was out of it. And my initial reaction was, to, I guess, looking at the replay, to go, it looks like I went for a takedown. He kind of threw me to the ground. I came to with uh, him on top of me. I came to as he punched me. That woke me up. I went for a heel hook out of uh, mount, and my body just wasn't responding. You can see, like, it's kind of a half ass attempt. My legs go real slow, and he just kind of gets out of it. So then I turn over. He hits me again. Then I'm fully, I'm, I'm back to normal. I'm cool. He's on top of me pounding. It's doing zero damage. I'm not, I'm not. There's no blame on Mario Yak Yakusami, Yamasaki, Yamasaki. <laughs> none, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, the blame's on me for eating that uppercut. That's on me 100%. I shouldn't have been in that position. However, under those circumstances, I was talking to Mario going, do not stop the fight. He's hit me in the back of the head. Don't stop the fight. I'm fine. I'm looking at him wording this. Mm -hmm. Do not stop the fight. There's 10 seconds left, too. I heard, I heard the 30 I'm conscious of that, and I can hear my, my corner going, 15 seconds, shot, 15 seconds. So I just remember talking to Mario, being like, do not stop it, man, and then he stopped it. And then there, there you go. Um, you know, he had to stop the fight, though, the way you were flattened out like that, and you were just keeping your hands up by your head. Defend but the, when there's no damage. Mm -hmm. I think you have to take it case by case. I'm like, homeboy's talking to me while defending himself. Yeah. It's not like I was eating punches. Well, he was hitting you, you know, but 100%. You, were, you were flattened out. A lot of things look bad about that fight. You were lunging with, like, your punches instead of getting there with your footwork mm. and then launching things from the proper distance. You were, you were like, really reaching and loading up. Mm. You, were, you looked very stiff. You looked very stiff. You didn't look fluid. You know, you just didn't look good. It didn't look like you were well prepared. Like, the, your movement just didn't look like an elite fighter's movement mm. what you were doing was very very stiff it was very stiff and it was like a lot of apprehension in your movement you could see the way travis is moving like his boxing was very clean very clean good technique good movement he's a bad motherfucker you know i was worried about you coming into this fight i can yeah. tell you i can tell you that right now I worry about your commitment to fighting and i worry about really? where you stand not your commitment to training not, not your commitment to training, not your commitment to give it your all. I think you have one foot out the door. I think you're I looking. You disagree? Mm -hmm. I think okay, you're, yeah. looking at, you're looking at wh where the future is going to take you and that you can't do this forever. You know, and I think that's a very dangerous place to be in fighting. You're a smart dude. And the problem with smart dudes is smart dudes think about concussions. You think about how many you've already had, how many you got coming up, how much damage you're taking in training. When does when does damage start to show up in your life? The reality of your skill set and where you at now, I don't see you beating the elite guys. Mm. I don't see you beating Cain Velasquez. I don't see you beating Junior Dos Santos. I don't see you beating Fabricio Verdum. You came into fighting fairly late in life. You're a good athlete. You're a strong guy. You're a big guy, and you can do a lot of things because of that. And you can. You're very dedicated. And you're very disciplined, and you get shit done. But there's a reality of fluidity of movement, of 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 mechanical efficiency of movement that happens when you get a guy who's trained his whole life at a certain aspect of of, of MMA, whether it's wrestling, whether it's kickboxing, whether it's jujitsu. There's a fluidity to their movement that you don't really have. And it's not that you don't try hard. It's not that you're not dedicated. It's not that you're not disciplined. It's not that you're not intelligent. There's shit that other people can do that you can't do. If you had a wrestling match with Cain Velasquez, how well do you think you'd do? Straight up wrestling? Yeah. I think people would be surprised. Really? Mm -hmm. You think so? Mm -hmm. I think you'd be surprised. Mm. I really do. I think he'd fuck you up. There's a certain amount of, there's a bridge between you and the very best guys in the world. And I don't know if you can cross that bridge. Mm. And that's that's the reality of life. You're a very good fighter. That's not 
what the the issue is. The issue is, can you become a champion? If you can't become a champion, are you comfortable with getting knocked out three or four more times over the next five or six years? Mm. You know, and that's that that's is a, a possibility. Question. It's a possibility. Yeah. It might not happen. You might be okay, but it also might happen. It might it might happen two fights in a row. It might happen. You know, I mean. If you have to have a rematch for some, look, if Travis Brown loses his next fight and you win your next fight and you have a rematch with Travis Brown by some strange, unforeseen circumstance, mm -hmm. it's a fucking tough fight for you. Again, you know, and it very well could happen the same way. Again, you know, or he's it could more happen fluid. the other way, for sure. It could, but he's, he's more fluid on his feet. He's, he's more lethal. Like, he, his, his ability to close the distance and land shots, he has an extra speed and extra ability to connect that I don't see from you. I, I, I don't necessarily, and you know me, you're my boy, I don't agree with it you, everything you're saying either. Okay. The Olofsky fight looked like you couldn't pull the trigger. Look, you, you were, you were telegraphing the right hand. It was like, it was a real, your attacks were real obvious. Like, yeah. it, was, it was real obvious what you were attempting to do. You were being very predictable. And Arlovsky was stiff as hell. He was so nervous. And you couldn't close the deal on him. You couldn't get in on him. You couldn't land shots. I thought you should have won that fight, but I thought it was a terrible fight. You know, if I'm a guy who's a talent scout and I'm looking at potential world beaters and I'm looking at guys who can fight at the elite level or guys who can fight for a world title, based on those performances, I would not say that you're there. Mm. You just shouldn't be fighting at an elite level if you move a certain way, if you have a certain hitch to your step if you if you're making mistakes like lunging forward with punches you're leaving your chin exposed you're 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 loading up on the right hand over and over again you're not recognizing that you're not hiding it enough you're not recognizing that you're not being diverse enough in your attack i worry more about you than i do about them because i think that you you leave more openings you have more vulnerabilities what i'm saying i say with love a hundred percent. I'm not saying this because I want to hurt your feelings. Uh, this is the last thing I want to do. If if I didn't love you, I'd walk out. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be willing to do this, and I wouldn't want to do this. In the eye.